And this is the global forecast for July 2017, brought to you by the wonderful people at AskTheAnswer.com, the UK's leading website for tarot readers, psychics, mystics and channelers. Now, this month is quiet. There's, there's not a lot of big aspects in the sky. A lot of planets are changing sign. The sun is obviously going to move into Leo. Mercury is going to leave Cancer and move into Leo on the 6th of July. Mars is going to leave Cancer and move into Leo on the 20th of July. So it's a big switch into Leo. At the same time, Venus moves into Gemini on the 5th of July. So it's kind of all change month with a lot of patterns and energies shifting around. But this is jockeying for position for next month. Next month, A, there's a Mercury retrograde most of the month. So for a lot of people, but especially those people born at the end of February, May, August and November, it's quite a confusing time. But also next month is the eclipses coming up. And I will deal with these more effectively next month. But for a lot of people, especially a lot of Leos and Aquarians, this next couple of months is going to be a little bit tumultuous. And I do suspect that out there in the outside world, we're going to see some pretty large developments and events. Bigger, if possible, than what we've seen in June. During July, it's kind of positioning, posturing and getting ready for the positions. There's going to be more developments in July similar to June. Not quite as extreme, I hope. But it's kind of downturning and, and building up ahead of steam in readiness for August. And with the eclipses in August, it's not going to affect us all. It's going to affect more individual situations and individual personalities. So watch this space. If a, if a planet were my client <clears throat> and all its people won, I would be saying to them, uh, as far as July goes, have a month where you shift your energy fields, you change your energy patterns and you concentrate on becoming more effective and efficient in readiness for what's to come. Have a uh, preparatory month.